Good day to you and blessings. Blessings from the Lord be upon you and your family. I wanted to um, read a little verse with you and maybe pray over you. Today is what? Today is the 15th, okay? So I'm going to read like I do almost every day and have for years. I read a, um, a proverb that corresponds with the day of the month because there's 31 proverbs. And I just find that to be not an accident. I think God did that for a reason. Proverbs is known as the book of wisdom. Book of wisdom written by the smartest man ever to live, Solomon, who asked God for wisdom instead of riches so he could lead the people. And because he did that, God gave him wisdom and riches. It's the nature of God, man. He's awesome. Okay, so it's Proverbs 15. And let's cruise over here. Hallelujah. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a grievous word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools pours out foolishness. Hallelujah. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and on the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness in it crushes the spirit. Ooh, hallelujah. A fool despises his father's instruction, but he who regards reproof is prudent. In the house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the revenue of the wicked is trouble. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge. Hallelujah. But the heart of the foolish does not do so. Did I just read that right? The lips of the wise disperse knowledge. But the heart of the foolish does not do so. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord. But the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord. But he loves him who follows after righteousness. Correction is grievous to him who forsakes the way. And he who hates reproof will die. Wow. Highlighter. I love those scriptures that kind of, I don't know, they just speak louder, you know? They just jump off the page. Like, hey, mark this down. Because this is one of the problems with humanity is you can, you can know certain things and be wise under certain things, but that doesn't mean you're going to not have to be challenged in that area. That doesn't mean because you know it that you're going to just get a pass. No. You can know something and still have massive challenges with it. And that's one of those scriptures I think all human humanity has to keep in check constantly is pride, arrogance, ignorance, you know, thinking that you're more than you are, thinking that you're better than you are. We all deal with that. That was the, the original sin is pride. The devil, he lifted up in his heart. He said five, five different times, I, 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 and that was pride. I will lift my throne above God's throne. I will ascend above the stars. He said, I, I, I. That's pride. Me, myself. That's pride. Love is selfless. Okay? That's Jesus. Selfless. Jesus said that I came to serve and not to be served. Right? He's the king. He deserves to be worshipped even before he did anything for us. <laughs> he could have called thousands of angels down. But he didn't. He was selfless. That's why he's his name is above every name. It's amazing. Everyone who is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Be assured he will not go unpunished. Wow. Wow. 